G'day, Josh here with another video. And I'm not sure whether you can see, but in the campaigns panel at the top of the home screen, you get a little bit of a spoiler. Tip off is here. You can also see a tip off 2018 pack in the store panel. So yes, I'm once again on the test server, bringing you some early access content. So thank you EA for giving me access to bring all of this to you guys. In fact, there we go. You can see the tip off master section on the left. Uh, just keep in mind that everything is subject to change at this point as this is not live, it is still test server content. So let's jump into the NBA tip-off 2018 campaign and check out what we're looking at. Now, if you guys are following Brian on Twitter, the lead content designer in, of the game, you will have seen his little sneak, pre, uh, sneak peek preview, I should say, sneak preview, try and get my words out there, uh, of Wilt and Isaiah, the program masters for this campaign. Uh, no face cam today as well, if you guys hadn't noticed, uh, and I have not put out videos recently. I've been a little bit under the weather. I broke a tooth recently. Uh, and I'm still waiting on a dentist appointment tomorrow and the pain has been pretty significant So I've been dealing with that the past few days. So that is why I haven't been putting out content So I do apologize for that, but hopefully I can get to the dentist and get that sorted tomorrow uh, Hopefully it's too not too complicated and then I'll be back to my regular schedule now you can see here we've got Wilt and we've got Isaiah and How do we preview what those guys look like? Uh, let's click. Let's start here. Let's start with the more with the information panel. So play the tip off campaign with your all new tip off campaign lineup. Now that's significant, and I'll get to that in a second. Upgrade your tip off lineup with players from live event sets and store. Collect tip off players and upgrade your lineup to compete for masters. Will Chamberlain and Isaiah Thomas. I really wanted to say complete there, but it does say compete for masters, and that is because you're not actually uh, completing sets to earn these masters. These masters are unlocked by playing the final challenge in each of these sections. So on the left hand side you've got the the Wilt challenges and on the right hand side you've got the Isaiah challenges and you actually play through those to unlock these masters. If you complete those final challenges you will get each of those masters. They do have some pretty significant requirements though. Uh, you can see there 86 over Wilt Chamberlain as the first win reward for this specific challenge. Now before we look too much into that, let me go to my team and show you guys that there is now a tip-off lineup. It comes preloaded with a bunch of silvers and obviously as you progress through the campaign, you will upgrade those to golds and hopefully elites and that is what will allow you to progress through the challenges in the tip-off campaign to work your way towards those masters. I'll also give you guys an idea of what the sets look like at this point. So here are the tip-off sets. You can unlock tip-off players at the top this one here you pop, uh, in fact we can do that I think, we put in silver players and a tip off token and we unlock ourselves a gold player. So let's unlock that gold player and see what that looks like. We earn ourselves Joe Ingles as an Aussie, I gotta represent him there, that's awesome. Uh, the next one is putting in gold players, gold tip off players and gold tip off tokens. This, these tip off tokens are purchasable in the store, I'll show you that in a second. This will unlock an 80 overall elite. Give you a little information here. So this is how you get the 80 overall tip-off program elites. And then here is how you get the tip-off heroes. So these ones are 83 plus, or 82 plus, sorry, 82 to 85 tip-off heroes. You turn in three of the 80 overall players, seven gold players and 10 tokens and unlock yourself a tip-off hero. Now, if we go to the store, we'll scroll down, uh, scroll up a little bit to find the store and we go across to tip off here, you will see that you can purchase the tip off item pack. So six gold tip off items for 10,000 coins. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, it's not that much of an exciting pack. It's simply just six of those tokens, but you will need those to complete those player sets. So definitely keep that in mind. Now, if we go back to the sets and look at the bottom row, this is a tip off exchange. This is where you can exchange some other items uh, or some items into other things, I should say. So here you can exchange silver players and the tip off tokens for a tip off coach. This one here allows you to re-roll your tip off hero. So maybe you get an 82 and you really want an 85. Obviously the odds of getting 85 are lower than getting an 82, but this does give you the chance to do that, which is pretty cool, I think. And then here is the elite player exchange. You can put in any elite player here, 10 tip off tokens, hit claim, and you'll get yourself an elite 
AD overall tip-off player and an elite tip-off coach. You can only do this once every 12 hours. Uh, that is time limited. But this is pretty cool. If you've got elite players that are not selling in the auction house, this is a pretty neat way to turn them into useful elites for this program. So I really, really like the addition of this set. And it just feels really good because you're getting yourself an elite coach as well on top of that. So it's really hard to be disappointed with that. So we just earned ourselves a couple there. If we go to my team, uh, we can now upgrade my tip off. So if I hit best lineup here, my tip off lineup has now been upgraded. I've got a few elites there. Uh, let's go in and update my coach as well. Chuck in an elite coach, pretty nice fan boost. And of course I get that passing accuracy boost as well. So that is awesome. So my tip off lineup is currently a 67 overall. Now let's go back to the campaigns and look at the tip-off campaign in a little bit more depth now that I've sort of shown you the uh, other elements to the tip-off program. So let's, you've got the, your blitz events in the middle. I haven't touched on those yet. So these blitz events, are actually the, the middle one here, I'm not entirely sure how often this resets, but it gives you a gold player the very first time you do it. So I've, I already did that when I was testing this out. You also have these uh, the easy and the hard blitz event for the west and the easy and the hard blitz event for the east. Those are currently locked. I do need to have a 68 overall tip-off lineup to uh, jump in and play those. Now, in terms of the unlock requirements, the the west or the Wilch side of the challenge is or the campaign is certainly easier to, to meet those requirements. The Isaiah Thomas side of the campaign, those challenges are a little bit harder to unlock. And let's look at each of these requirements as we work down the levels. So to play against the Utah Jazz in the Wilch side of the campaign, as we unlock our fourth day in a row login reward. I'm not sure why that's happened because I haven't logged in four days in a row in a test server, but I will take it. So here we need to have collected one gold tip off player and have completed the previous challenges to unlock this event. So that's not too tricky. If we look down here at the Timberwolves, we need to have collected four gold tip off players, which I have not currently done. And of course, completed the previous challenges. The Spurs, you need to have collected seven gold tip off players. The Rockets, you need to have collected two elite tip-off players, which I actually have done. And then finally, to complete the Wilt Chamberlain, to unlock his master card, you need to have collected four elite tip-off players. Sorry, let me clarify that. Four elite tip-off heroes. So they are the 82 to 85 overall elites, and you must have completed all previous Western Conference challenges. So basically, you play through these challenges, you collect yourself four elite tip-off heroes and you earn yourself Wilt Chamberlain. Uh, that feels pretty grindable for me. We won't really know. I'm not sure how long this campaign of, is going to be live for. Uh, so we're not really gonna know just how grindable the Wilt side of it is until the campaign is live in global release. But that one is certainly, it feels very achievable. On the right hand side, the, the Isaiah campaign, if we look at the Wizards, we must have uh, a 68 overall tip-off lineup, and this is all about the overall of your tip-off lineup, so I'm pretty close to that at the moment. Then we need a 72 overall tip-off lineup to face the 76ers. We need a 76 overall tip-off lineup, and I don't actually have to go in here. I can actually see the requirements in the bottom left-hand corner of each of those live events or those challenges. I need a 79 to face the Celtics, and I need an 83 overall tip-off lineup to unlock that Isaiah Thomas. So that is significant. Keep that in mind. I think that's going to be the harder side of the campaign to work towards getting the 83 overall uh, lineup. If we go in and have a look at my team, my regular NBA lineup is only an 80 overall and it's full of elites. So it will certainly be a challenge to uh, complete the Isaiah Thomas or to unlock his MasterCard but once you start earning those he, those tip-off heroes, and you need four of them for the Wilt Chamberlain anyway, that will certainly help as they are a minimum at an 82 overall. So that will certainly help boost your lineup overall. Uh, and once again, we'll just have to wait and see just how grindable it is. Obviously, I don't expect them to be giving away the Masters for free. That is almost never the case. And in fact, we have just had some pretty great free content in terms of the next gen and the Elevate programs. So I certainly don't expect these to be grindable for free, but they certainly look to be pretty achievable, especially that Will Chamberlain. I can't wait for him. Uh, my only 
only request at this point is I wish there was a way to actually view those masters. I don't think we can. There's no, there's usually like a little card link on the uh, campaign map, but I cannot find anywhere here a little link to view what those masters look like. Um, I will actually pass that feedback on, although it is the weekend at the moment, so there's no one in the EA offices, but maybe that addition can be made so we can actually view the stats of those masters. That would be really nice. But I'm certainly very, very excited to get stuck into the tip-off campaign, which is hopefully dropping quite soon. I hope you've enjoyed this early sneak peek. Uh, if you've got any questions or any thoughts, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching the videos and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of this sort of content in the future.